Diet is relevant to everyone and what we eat influences our risk for disease today, tomorrow and in 20 years. Our current nutritional recommendations, they don't take into account individual variances in genetics and the fact that people are very unique in the environments they're exposed to. So I hope for my research to improve how we're using diet and optimizing diet to prevent disease and support overall health of the community. My path into a PhD came about from being exposed to research early on in my undergraduate degree. Up until that point, I hadn't thought about a PhD or a research career. I started thinking about a career where it pays to be curious and ask questions, and I didn't turn back. Dr. Emma Beckett has been an everyday inspiration for me. She became my first female mentor and then several years later my PhD supervisor and I was her first PhD student. She inspires me to do great research but not only that, to encourage and celebrate other people along their science paths. If I can be part of inspiring the paths of another woman in science then that is something that I'd be immensely proud to do. I did a lot of teaching during my PhD. It started out as just doing some laboratory demonstrations and it really snowballed from there. So the last year of my PhD, I was also an associate lecturer. Teaching others allows you to develop skills which are very fundamental to research as well. So things like our communication skills and our leadership skills. One of the highlights of my PhD was spending some time in the States at the National Institute of Health. I was working in what is one of the world's leading medical institutes, these massive research labs. But when I looked inside the laboratories, there was the same type of equipment I found in my own lab. So it was this grounding experience where I realized that I could do high quality research back home as well. Now that I've completed my PhD, I'm looking forward to formally supervising other HDR students and hopefully do my bit in inspiring the next generation.